Let's play a game. What do the following have in common? A mobile app to help first generation immigrants, a multinational healthcare platform designed for developing countries, and a community led goal management web application. Well, they were all developed using Flutterflow by people just like you. And today we hear directly from the builders. So let's dive in. First up is an AI document translator. Hi everyone, this is Francis from the Totoy team and I'd like to show you our app Totoy, uh, which is a mobile app built with Flutterflow and Superbase. So my parents were born in the Philippines and I was born in Vienna, Austria. And as far as I can remember, they've always showed me some letters in German and asked me, Totoy, what is this? Totoy is uh, Filipino for little boy. So they asked me, okay, what does this letter mean? They can speak German, but they struggle with these complicated legal phrases in, uh, in the documents. And I realized this is not only a problem that I have, but a lot of second generation migrants have. They work as so-called invisible language workers. So they have to uh, fulfill roles that actually adults uh, have, uh, but even from early childhood. So we built an app uh, called Totoy. Let me show you. Um, you open the app and it instantly opens the camera. You can take a picture of a document in any language. And I set the app to English now because uh, it uses optical character recognition to um, scan the text, summarize the information and create a simple explanation in your mother tongue. So imagine your mother tongue is just English, <laughs> then you will receive an explanation and this says, ah, I received a letter from the city of Vienna regarding a Vienna energy bonus. So uh, actually the city of Vienna is giving out money for uh, to help uh, with the increased energy costs. You can also ask follow up questions like, what do I need to do? And Tote will always give an easy explanation in your, your native language. Let's see what Toto answers here. So, hey Francis, if you received this letter, you don't need to take any action. Perfect, right? So I know exactly what's going on in this letter, even though the letter is in German. And right now we uh, support 18 languages. So we have Bosnian, German, English, Filipino, Arabic, Farsi. Uh, so Toto will always answer in, in your language. And in the app, you will find all the documents. So it's also a document uh, store. And um, yeah, that's that's uh, what Toto does. It helps uh, first generation migrants to become more independent and also relieves second generation migrants of uh, the invisible language work. So I hope you like the app and you can download it in the App Store and Play Store right now. And it will hopefully help you to understand documents in seconds. Now let's move on to a healthcare platform based in the US and Nigeria. Hey Flutterflow, my name is Mike and I'm the CTO for Trust Healthcare. Meet Juan and Jude Ohaya, a veteran pharmacist and directors of Trusty Drugs Inc., a retail chain of pharmacies here in US and in Nigeria. For over two decades, they have been at the forefront of affordable healthcare, but their dream does not stop at pharmacies. Vern and Jude visioned an affordable healthcare platform for developing countries. And Trust THR was born connecting hospital, clinics, doctors, pharmacists, and patients in one ecosystem. Thanks to the powerful features of Floodflow, Trust THR went from a dream to being a beta in just four months with over 68 pages of comprehensive user journey covering staff dashboard and patient management and 85 components for diverse functionality and app optimization. Combining the powerful integration of Superbase and APIs, integration and data structure, and the best thing about Flutterflow was freedom to develop custom functions and widget for refined operations, which helped us to develop an enterprise level hospital management system. I have worked on Flutterflow for smaller projects, but thanks to Flutterflow consistent updates and proactive support, it helped me to choose Flutterflow as our go to development tool. And I'm glad that we chose right. 
our beta expanded, becoming an integrated hospital management system, Trust EHR, connecting our legacy pharmacy management system, which is Trust RX, and also creating public APIs for developer so they can integrate to their system using Trust Connect. While patient care and transparency is our top priority, we will be launching Trust Healthcare so patients can access and control their data at their fingertips in Q4. It's original, bringing a fresh perspective to healthcare. It's user-friendly, designed for everyone, and it's making real-world impact, solving challenges in affordable healthcare. Trust EHR has really improved the efficiency and volume of our business. We can now receive prescriptions directly into our system and process them seamlessly. We are changing the future of healthcare. What an inspiring story. Now let's move on to community-driven goal management platform. So here you are at your BOSA dashboard. This is really the heart of everything that BOSA does and how BOSA can help you. Um, the main kind of superpower area and the key feature is uh, this idea that you've got what BOSA can help you with today. We'll get to that in a second as we start adding goals. You also have active goals here, your notifications here, and then this carousel of resources and partners. Um, and what this is are things that actually relate to helping you complete your goals. Then we've got this community carousel down here so that you can help others. The idea is that none of us can do it alone. It takes a village and BOSA is that village actualized. So let's get started and add a goal. One thing that I'm working on is refinishing uh, my patio furniture before my parents come for a visit. So I just go ahead and type it in. Oops, it's okay if I have a typo. Go ahead and click to add your goal. The first magic moment of BOSA is just getting everything out of your head. And we've got these handy categories to add to your goal to help categorize them and help people uh, better see what you need support with. Now we're going to go ahead and add a collaborator to this goal of mine. I'm going to view all of my active goals. Open this next one. You can see it's got this lock on here, which means it's private. It just means that I'm the only one that can see it. Open in here and I can add a collaborator. I'm actually going to add my partner to it since he needs to help me get some of the supplies uh, when he's out running errands. You can also invite someone up here. And this is the second magic moment of BOSA. It's this idea that you can collaborate on getting your goals completed. You can add any comments, uh, need to get more sandpaper. You can also click here to ask the community and this makes it public, puts it in that carousel. So people that you know, but also people that you might not know from the BOSA community can step in and offer that support, which is really quite amazing that it's not just your village, but adding to it as you go. Hi, my name is EJ Rich. I'm one of the co-founders of BOSA. Um, one of the main things that we use a lot are the API calls. Uh, so we use Superbase as a back, our back end. At first we were just using the Superbase queries, but we realized that we want to do a lot more, like use Postgres functions, edge functions, things like that. So we've been using those and that just really makes it easy for us to leverage the power of Superbase inside of Flutterflow. And um, we're also using like custom code to do a lot of things. Um, some custom functions just like as helper functions when code expressions are not, uh, or we need more than a code expression. And then we have a few custom widgets we brought in. One's like a scrolling text one, another one detects like links inside of text and then we have like a bunch of custom actions we use some of them talk to, to superbase some of them are just like other sort of helper functions that we use uh, um we also use a lot of the like variable controls for different widget elements so for example like active goals there's just like a lot of conditionals because we're you know trying to control different things we're planning to do like mobile in the future so a lot of our designs have like a desktop part and then also like a mobile version so we usually like duplicate things we also use the responsive menu right here. It's really easy to sort of like, you know, quickly do the breakpoints and then you can modify the really love Flutterflow. But the thing that's recently that's really cool is that we're just implementing some chat GPT stuff in here. So it's set up so you can like ask a question. So if you just say like, just ask it about help, it'll actually run. And so it's calling a super based edge function through the API calls. And then see, so pulled up two of my goals. So I'm using like a custom dialog to pull up the goals. And then also we provide some suggested questions and these actually go back. So it sends the question back into chat GPT and it will provide me like an answer, which is super dope. You know, I think if we didn't have Flutterflow, this would have taken a really long time, 
But thankfully, since you know we have Flutter Flow, it's like so easy for us as a team just to think of like different experiments, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, love it. Nothing but great things to say. Wonderful. We've now seen three different types of apps with varying levels of complexity. And I hope this inspires you and you can be our next showcase. If you're ready, go ahead and share your story in the link below. This could be you. And until then, we'll see you in the next one.